It's a nerd focus, but you know what, that's okay. Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Avery here, and today I'm at home. And I really need to redo that. Maybe without the slide in. Hello everybody, welcome back. Avery here, and today I am at home, as you can see. So in Norfolk County, where I live, all of the boat launches are closed. So my dad and I decided that we would do a new series on YouTube called the Stay At Home series. And for the first video in our series, I decided that I would show you guys my five most memorable largemouth bass catches of all time. So let's start her off. My first catch I'm going to show you guys is my very first ever fish on a topwater frog. So this clip is from about two years ago and I was just learning how to use um, a topwater frog. My main bait I like to use for largemouth fishing before the topwater frog was a Texas rigged Senko. And so I had barely any experience using topwater baits at the time. And I wanted to try using a more variety of baits. And the topwater frog was on the top of my list. So let's get to the clip. Hopefully it's a bass. It's a bass. It's a bass. It's a bass. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm not letting this one go. No, no. Swing him in the boat. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Finally! Woo! I'm so excited. So last week, I literally fished for nine hours. Today, it took me an hour and a half. I'm feeling a lot better about frog fishing. I'm gonna come out and do this more often. Look at how pretty he is. Yes, 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 yes. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. So as you saw in the clip, I was super excited when I caught that fish. And that is because it actually took me around 12 hours to get my first largemouth bass on a topwater frog. I had actually caught a pike before that, so technically my first topwater fish was a pike. But I had missed a lot of fish the day before, and I was so excited to finally catch my very first largemouth on a topwater frog. As you can see in the video, I was using a live target hollow body frog. And really any hollow body frog is great for frog fishing. I've got one here that I use a lot now and I'll talk about that later. But the main thing I wanna talk about is rod and line. I was using a heavy action Shimano bait casting rod and 65 pound braid. When you are frog fishing, there's usually a lot of heavy cover. And if you ever get into a situation where the fish gets stuck in those weeds, you need to make sure you can pull it out. So the thing you need to remember when you are going frog fishing is use heavy line and a heavy rod so you can get that fish into the boat. Let's move on to the next clip. So the clip you're about to watch was from two summers ago when I fished my very first ever bass tournament with Coach Paul. And I had an absolute blast. We had caught our five fish limit early on in the day and we were really just calling, trying to get those bigger fish and get those littler fish back into the water. We were down to the wire and I was struggling to hook in to these big fish. I had actually lost a really big one before I caught that fish. And when I hooked into that one, man, it got my blood pumping. So intense, it's a charity tournament. I'm so intense. I have such, like, this is why I don't do many tournaments. I'm so competitive when it comes to tournament fishing. I don't love them, but I love them. <laughs> 
Highs and lows, baby, highs and lows. That's what it's like, right, Avery? Yep. Highs and lows. Hey, see those patches there, buddy? I can't cast it as you can. <gasps> oh my gosh! Giant, Avery, keep reeling. It's a giant. Don't stop reeling. Right, Avery, you keep reeling. Fast as you can, reel. Reel, reel. I got him. Oh yeah! yeah! Yes! Woo! That's probably my person. Right I'm there, buddy. Go. That's yes! it. Oh, look at the size of that. <laughs> grab him, grab him. Oh, yes. Woo! Oh, it's, huge. it's over. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Shout out to my dad, right there. <laughs> Thank you, Paul, dad. Oh my goodness. Eric, congrats. Oh, okay, give him a drink, we gotta weigh him. I'm shivering. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh. That was so good. So good. Where's this guy? We're done, we can leave right now. It's over. Seven? Over. Great Holy job, Avery. Holy cow. I'm freaking out right it's now. It's a monster. Calm down, Avery. Buddy, 19. 19 and change. 1958. <laughs> 1958. Almost 20. We ended up coming first place in the tournament, and that is definitely one of my most memorable moments bass fishing and fishing in general. So, the bait I was using was this Rage Tail topwater frog. So it, we just Texas rigged it with just a regular VMC wide gap hook. And the cool thing about it is when you are reeling it in, you don't have to create action. It creates it itself. There's two little flippers uh, at the end of the frog here and it makes bubbles and propels itself. So all you have to do is reel in when you are using this topwater bait. And once again, like I said before, when you are fishing with topwater baits like frogs, you need to have heavy line and a heavy rod to get those fish in the boat as quick as possible. Let's move on to fish catch number three. This next fish, the third fish on my list, it was caught not long after my tournament fish. I was given the opportunity to fish using the new Shimano SLX rod and reel combo. I was fishing a technique that I hadn't really tried before, a Texas rig craw, and I was punching through the cane with a one ounce VMC tungsten weight. I had actually gone into um, a bay, and then outside of the bay, there was this little um, indent in the cane and in the shore. And it was very, very thick, thick cane. And I had actually, my dad told me to just cast it in there and only give it a couple jigs and then move on to the next part of the shore. But I had a feeling about this. I knew something good was about to happen. And that is just what happened in this next clip. Gonna go in that heavy cover, woo! If I can get my bait up there, I can get a fish out of there. I'd so like to catch one in here. It'd be great. I got him. Got him. Ugh. I don't know how big he is, but he hit pretty hard. Oh, he's pretty big, Dad. He's big. He's pretty big. Oh my God, get him, get him. Yeah! Bobber, please do tell me what that is called if you know what it is called. But this is awesome! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! 
thank you. This was a really awesome fish catch and I truly have been addicted to punching cane and slop, whatever heavy cover I can find ever since. Moving on to fish number four. Last summer, I went out to test out the new Shimano SLX DC reel. I had actually gone smallie fishing, but I made the mistake on only bringing a heavy action rod smallie fishing. I had not caught many smallies because I was using a heavy action rod, and out of frustration, I decided that I would go largey fishing the next morning. Got him. Oh yes, oh yes. He better still be on. Yes, he's still on. He's still on. He's a fighter, he's a fighter. Oh gosh. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Uh. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh my God. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh! Yes! Let's go! Oh yeah! Fish on the top water frog! Oh yes! That is what a heaven a heavy action rod is made for! <gasps> Look at this! Oh yeah! So, I was once again frog fishing. I was using this Jackal Poppin' Frog. Like I said before, it is one of my favorite baits to use. And the thing that made this catch so much sweeter is that it was on my second cast that I had caught that big largemouth bass. My final clip on my most memorable largey catches is a clip that you guys have never seen before. And I was actually tournament fishing with my uncle and we were actually targeting smallies, not largies, when I hooked in to this giant. I'd like to get rid of every fish in this place That would be awesome. Got one. He doesn't feel horrible. Oh, he actually feels pretty good. Oh! 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 That's what we want to see. Oh no! Don't jump! Oh, there's one with him. He feels. Oh! No! Don't jump! Oh! It's a good one. There's two with him. It's a large mouth. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This might be my. Oh! Got him. Four nine. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Wait, wait! I need to take a picture. Oh, that is what we needed. Oh yeah, you. boy. Oh! Oh, look at that fish! 2.2 .2 goes home. That's a good fish. That is a good fish! Yes! Woo! Let's get a couple more of them. Oh yeah! Oh. 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 I've never caught a large one that big. Oh my god! I want one. Like I said before, I was fishing an inner and outer bay tournament with my uncle. And Lake Erie has one of the best smallmouth bass fisheries in the world. So we obviously wanted to target smallmouth because we thought we'd have a better chance at winning the tournament fishing for smallmouth. So we were using this, these jerk baits. It's a Jackal Rearrange 10. This isn't the exact color of the jerk bait I was using. I can't, couldn't find that color, which is unfortunate because I love that jerk bait. But 
we were smallmouth fishing in about seven to 10 feet of water. And I had no clue I was going to hook in to a largemouth. So you could expect how shocked I was when I netted that fish and got it into the boat. And we ended up coming seventh place in the tournament and I came fourth overall for big fish. I had a great tournament with my uncle and that is definitely one of my most memorable largemouth bass catches of all time. I hope you guys enjoyed the very first video and my stay at home series. We're gonna be making some more. I have a few ideas. We might make a smallmouth bass catches, uh, maybe a bucket list video. If you have any ideas, please feel free to comment down below and let me know. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Have a great day and always remember to take a kid fishing. Oh, I forgot to say subscribe and like. <laughs> subscribe and like while you're at it. <laughs>